to make an album that captured um, the soul, the soulful experience that happens when you, when you sit and just play the guitar. Well, when you play for yourself, it's, it, it's special. And I, and I have to be honest and say that I always play for myself. And it's just in, incredible that I, I get to make these people feel so good through the power of, of, the, of the music and just let that spirit flow, you know. It's been three years since uh, I recorded an album uh, and I wanted the chance to change my life, change my whole direction and uh, to go out and get the experience and the inspiration that I, I needed, I think, to, to write these songs. I'm travelling all the time. I'm, I'm playing in Germany, I'm playing in France, I'm playing in Italy and Asia and the United States and uh, so I, I've had a lot of different experiences. This album is pictures of my life. Um, there's songs I wrote in Africa, there's songs I wrote in Germany, some in France, and there's songs that I, I, I wrote feeling good, feeling bad, and, and that's how I, exp I express my feelings through my music. I wrote Mombasa uh, in Mombasa. I got the initial idea when I was uh, um, visiting the, the, uh, the young boy Michael that, I, that I've been sponsoring through World Vision. I felt so inspired being around him and, and his family and the simplicity of their, of their life and the, the joy that I took away with me from that day is expressed in that song. With the only album I wanted to uh, capture just the sound that I make when I sit and play the guitar. And everything that I played was, the, the, how it went down, that's how it was. It was there was no uh, enhancement later. It was exactly what, what you hear is what happened. The song Questions was written in a motel room in uh, New Zealand and I'd, um, I'd had a very emotional night the night before. I'd played a three hour show to a really responsive crowd who were, uh, some of them were nearly in tears during the show and, and I was myself because I could feel it and sense it and at five o'clock I wake up and I, the air is full of electricity. And, that, and when that happens, which has happened to me before when I wrote songs years ago, and I know that whatever you do, stop what you're doing and get your guitar because something great's going to happen. This is the first time I've, I've written songs and then played them on the road. And, and really got inside the song and really honed it 
uh, before I recorded it. Luttrell was actually the town where, where Chet Atkins was born. And it's a little tiny town about 30 minutes out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The train goes through every day, same time. And, and Chet told me that that was his entertainment at 10 a.m. every morning. That was how they were entertained by the, by the city folk going through. <laughs> Train to Dusseldorf was actually written on a train to Dusseldorf. What else could it be? But uh, it was one of my first trips through Germany. And uh, I, my last show was at a place called Lipstadt. And uh, I had to get on the train at like 5.30 a.m. and go to Dusseldorf to catch the plane to London. And I got on this train and it was the funniest thing. Uh, there was no one on the train, there, not a soul. I walked up and down, there was not a soul on the train. The song Those Who Wait was the last thing I wrote and it, it came about uh, through a period of making decisions on which way I've, I had to go and when I made up my mind, yes, I, I wanted to do my own solo album uh, and I wanted to record all my own songs and I wanted to go that, that direction. The moment that I made my mind up that, that that was the way I had to go, this song came. It means a great deal to me because I think that one of the hardest things that we learn in life is to be patient and to trust and to have faith that everything's going to work out in our life and uh, to be true to ourselves, you know, to, to do what it is that we truly believe we, we've got to do and not what anyone else says and, and or what, what everyone else wants you to do, what you truly feel in your heart you, you must do and that's what I did with this album.